reach over. Oh, good morning, Bethany and friends. Good morning, our guests. Good morning, our neighbors. Welcome all to this place of worship today, our special day with uh, our children's Christmas programs. Well, welcome all. Welcome who are in person here today, and welcome to joining us worship through Zoom today, and then also all those who will join us our YouTube later on this afternoon. So, welcome all. So, would you please take a moment to look around to see who are here with you in your front and back and right and left. Let's wave our hands, sign of welcoming each other, saying we love you, and then God loves you too. Welcome. So hope that I um, want to see you again and also see you next Sunday. Next Sunday is our annual Christmas cantata offered by the, our um, adult choir. And then also invite you all to our special service on Christmas Eve, December 24th. We offer two services, one at 7 o'clock with um, Lesson and Carol will sing a lot of a Christmas carol. And at 11 o'clock, we'll be offered a different task of worship with um, traditional communion and candlelight, a quietness at 11 p.m. So quite late, but we want to offer all these two different worship services according to your own time and preferences. And then also 7 o'clock, we invite the children to come with uh, our children's time together. So would you please read the announcements printed in your worship bulletin, see our update, and then other announcements, all the names that we want to continue to keep in our prayers, and then also our children's programs, Sing for Joy, as we are excited to sing them, doing their worship with us and leading worship. So there will be no sermon today. But instead, the children will bring you the message um, today. And then out of it, you will see the uh, colored uh, announcements, every step matters, jumped in with both feet. Now, as you know what, uh, as Jeremy 
announced last Sunday, it is our new project to upgrading our AV system, audio and video. So we want to build up more comprehensive at this time, comprehensive for our digital ministry toward the future, along with our pandemic situation. And then when all this project is done, we will provide audiovisual good quality, and also we will start the live streaming of worship to all the community, and especially for um, our members who are not able to attend in person. We'll get to them. And then also you will see the old, you will not see this standing screen anymore once this project is done. Are you excited? <laughs> right. Please support this uh, project, the church. And also, as you see the information in here inserted, it, there are several funding resources along uh, with all other. Our congregational campaign goal is 10,000. 10,000. Think about it. How can we make a 10,000? Measure from the old sound room, as Jeremy told last week, to the new location where Jeremy stand is about 100 feet away. Right? So campaign leadership find out this idea. Yeah, let's do it. One feet from that place, the new place, cost 100. So let us jump in with both feet, right? <laughs> and then buy the feet per 100. So for example, here is the math. If one person wants to 100 jumps buying all the 100 feet, by, I mean, the, uh, giving 10,000, that's it. That's the end of it, any time. Today, yeah, please do. But we have already received a fund, so not for 10000 Maybe uh, upgrading is, what, 80000 left? So, I mean, I mean so 8000 left? And then another, 10 people made uh, 10 jumps, buying 1000 each, made of 10000 It's a math, right? How about 20 people buy... Fifth, uh, what? Oh, it's a mess. Please do. 20 people, how many jumps? <laughs> Giving 500 each made equal 10,000. How about 50 people among you <laughs> made two jumps? Giving 200 each. Oh, made 10,000. How about 100 people jump one jumps? Giving 100 made equal 10,000. How about 200 people? <laughs> Share the jump, each other, giving 50 per person, made equal 10,000. Bethany, we can make it, right? Yes. Let's say hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah, so this is our project, and while we're doing it, it is our envision for comprehensive digital ministry for not only for our current need, but for the future, reaching out to more people in online world. Let's support with our prayers. All right. Other announcements? Let us open our hearts and mind and go to God in our worship as we continue to call to worship. You want to come here? Please stand as you're able for the call to worship this morning. A path to our God, winding through the ordinary, weaving through the busyness, overcoming roadblocks and detours, a way to go home, leaving the past in the past, moving from darkness and exile coming into the light. Advent is a path to our God, a way to come home, a discovery of God's voice. Rejoice, rejoice, God is with us. You may be seated.
We light this candle as a symbol of Christ our joy. May the joyful promise of your presence, O God, make us rejoice in our hope of salvation. The ransomed of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing, everlasting joy with crown, will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Please stand for our opening hymn while shepherds watch their flocks. We will sing verses 1, 3, 4, and 5. Our Apostles' Creed this morning is number 881 in our hymnal or up on our screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Let us join together in our opening prayer this morning. Merciful God, you sent your messengers, the prophets, 
to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may celebrate aright the commemoration of the Nativity and may await with joy the coming and glory of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let us continue to God in our prayer, especially as we share our prayer of intercession. Let us pray, O oh Lord, as we are waiting for your Messiah, whom you sent to us into human form, to renew our faith, renew our relationship with him, and renew our lives, new lives in him and through him. We offer to you, O oh Lord, our prayer. Lord, loving Lord, Almighty God, our Father, in your love, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for this time about our presence in, present in your presence, O Lord. Lead us and guide us to worship you in spirit and the truth. We pray for your will be done on earth as it is in heaven for your love and grace and your peace it's all around the world at this time of joyful season, waiting for the Messiah's coming in. Especially those areas where still human sins are there, sufferings are there, wars and conflicts are there. Lord, send your Holy Spirit to all the world. And we pray for all those who have suffered from natural disaster this past week, tornado, hit the several states, living casualty, lost their property and houses. Lord, Hear our prayers. We pray for all the people in our nations. We pray for our leaders, federal government, state governments, local governments. Send your spirit of justice and love and mercy with which they will govern the people. Lead the people to your ways, always. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all the churches around the world, all denominations, who confess our faith on the Jesus Christ, one faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, help us awakening our spirit and renew our faith to be the messenger of good news to all around the world. Lord, hear our prayers, and we pray for our own sins, out of our fault, in word, in deed, in thoughts, in what we have done without love, what we have left undone. Lord, in your mercy, for the sake of Jesus Christ, Forgive our sins. And help us to serve you, serve each other. Help us to love you and to love each other with new heart. Lord, hear our prayers. We would pray for your body, Church Bethany, all the congregation, members and friends, our guests. Unite us all together 
and the one calling to be the church, to witness your love and grace and salvation to wherever we are, to the people around us. Help us to grow into our relationship with you so that we may relate it ourselves to each other, to the people around us in Christ's love. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we lift up our hearts to remember all those who are suffering in their sicknesses, illnesses, weaknesses, those who are, those who live lonely, especially during this pandemic time. Lord, especially we lift them up to you by name. Sister James. Lord, hear our prayers. Sarah Hillard. Lord, hear our prayers. Matt Shackelford. Lord, hear our prayers. Judy Hines. Lord, hear our prayers. Cliff Beach. Lord, hear our prayers. Billy Davis. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Carol Johnson. Lord, hear our prayers. Sue Morgan. Lord, hear our prayers. Sean Johnson. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Jack Wallace. Lord, hear our prayers. Mike Smith. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, now we pray for ourselves in silence. Speak to us. Lord, we are listening. Thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. And now we pray together the Lord's Prayer that our Lord Jesus taught us to do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, the glory forever. Amen. Let us offer ourselves to God as the living sacrifices, and then as we offer God's tithes and our gifts to God together. Now we invite the ushers to come forward. Lord, we give our thanks. We are thankful and grateful. And now we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. We offer this a bit more sign of our thanksgiving by dropping the plate, or many into the church, or giving through an online system. Lord, receive us and receive them. Bless us and bless us. Use us and use them for your kingdom come, for your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
You may be seated. Please join me in the prayer of illumination. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of the Holy Spirit, that as the scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. Our Old Testament reading this morning is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 12, verses 2 through 6. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For, God, for the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. And our New Testament reading this morning is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 7 through 18. Please stand as you're able. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our, as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is laying in, at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds ask him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none. And whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? And he said to them, Collect mo no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chafe he will burn with unquenchable fire. So with many exhortations, he proclaimed the good news to the people. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. God's message today is from our children and youth. Let us open our hearts and mind. Come to God.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the first time for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest rooms available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger.
Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come, come to worship him. When King heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem was with him.
And after they, they had heard the kings, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed on coming to the house. They saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their countries by another route. Let us give a big hands to our cast today. Thank you so much. So everybody got the message from them, right? Then you are ready for Christmas now. Right. Especially our baby Jesus, Lucas. You know, he was baptized some weeks ago. Lucas, I hope you are. Growing well to be like Jesus, Lucas. All right, all right, yeah. Welcome all. So let us remember all our children and youth in your prayer. Can you promise? Yes. So that they can continue to grow in faith and also continue to grow in good health so they become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, Susanna, have announcements? I just want to thank you all for your, for your support of this program. We've had a fun time doing it. Um, as you can see, we kept it simple this year, just in a nod to COVID and just the challenges that we have with that. But I could not be more proud of these kids. I've been working with some of them since they were this big, this one especially. Logan was James five years ago. <laughs> and now look at him. We're just so proud of them. And they all practiced their lines, and they delivered them wonderfully. So thank you guys for your support. Um, and special love to our sheep. <laughs> Jesus Christ party. Oh, yes, yeah. and thank you. So after directly following the service, we have a happy birthday Jesus party that we hope you'll join us for down in the fellowship hall. Thank you, Susanna, for all the directing, all this, and also our um, youth director, Chris. Let us give them our big hands too. Thank you for your leadership. <laughs> So as you are ready for the Christmas, go now in peace and love and joy to love each other, to serve each other. Still waiting for the baby Christ, Jesus Christ to be born again into your heart. As you go, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever and evermore. Amen.